We've given you some general advice about the Manuel Antonio Beach area, but I'd like to cover some general advice for shooting at any beach. First up, the seas are often quite rough. Make sure that you are comfortable being in the water and that it's a strong current that doesn't intimidate you. As such, you need camera straps. Now, I use both wrist straps that were a floating strap for my cameras and in many cases, a very strong body strap. You wanna make sure that the camera doesn't fall away from you if you drop it. One dropped, even with that floating strap, it's gonna be pretty easy to lose the camera pretty quickly. If you're going to the beach for pleasure because you wanna get a swim in, leave your camera at home or bring the point and shoot or action camera that can get wet. This made it really fun to get the camera at the surf's edge. You can make fun video shots this way or get some fantastic photos where the surf and the sand meet. If you're there to shoot with a Micro Four Thirds or a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, absolutely, it's a beautiful location. But make sure as you're shooting, you balance it out. You'll find all sorts of rough driftwood, rocky areas, and just interesting combinations of the shoreline. You'll also find several alcoves or bays and a lot of local interesting folks and surfers. This is a great place to make some images. Just be prepared though for the weather to quickly change. I found that rainstorms could blow in and out really quickly. So carrying an umbrella to keep your gear safe worked quite well. When you're all done, you have to take care of your equipment. Make sure when you get back to your hotel or the house that you're staying at, you wipe down all the gear. While you might not be able to see it, the sea salt in the spray will damage the equipment and any sand that's in there could be problematic as well. I recommend the first thing you do is do a dry dust off. Take a dry towel and try to lightly remove any sand or salt that's on the outer side. Once that's done, you can use something like a wet wipe or an alcohol wipe to pull things down. If there's still things left, particularly if it got inside of your tripod legs, you're gonna have to take that apart and take it into the bathtub or shower and rinse it out really well and then let it dry and build it back together. But in any case, as beautiful as the ocean is, make sure your memories only come back in the photos. If you don't take the time to wipe your equipment down and potentially clean it, you will end up with a lot more problems that will plague future shots.